morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, the 28th, I think, of May, of August, oh my God, of April. Wow, I don't even know what the day is. Um, so I am actually getting ready to leave. I have Savannah here with me. Um, Maddie's here too. They're kind of like my nieces, you guys know that. Um, but anyway, we are getting ready to go to school. We're gonna go to my current school and we're gonna begin the packing up process. We did get an okay from our principal to go in and he did assign us days of the week to go in. We can bring family members as long as they stay in our classrooms at all times. So that's what we're gonna do. I will let you in on a little secret. I've already been there. So because I'm actually moving out of my classroom and out of the school, I was given a couple of extra days to go in. So I did go in a couple of days by myself, completely by myself, and packed up the room uh, and got a head start because I knew that I wasn't gonna have a whole lot of time. Anyway, we are getting packed, we're getting ready to go. I have an empty box here just in case I need to put anything else away in a box. I have lots of water. Um, snacks, things like that because it's going to be a long day. We're going to drop cash off at preschool and then we are going to head on over to my classroom. So we'll see you there. Hello friends. So we are now here at school and as you can see behind me there is a lot going on. So I'm just going to briefly walk you guys around and show you what's happening in here. <laughs> So the girls are hard at work emptying cubbies. Um, so the kids are gonna be coming by, I don't know when. I don't know how they're organizing that, but right now we're just filling bags up with the kids' stuff. Um, all of this by the door has already been packed up and is ready to move out. Everything that's on top of this countertop right now is stuff that I do not need, but this is all stuff that I didn't want and I'm getting rid of, and then stuff that needs to stay here um, and then this right here is garbage, but everything else, guys, <laughs> is my stuff. Everything that you see on top of a table or in a box is mine that is getting moved to the storage unit. I have a lot. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little bit overwhelmed by it, but it's fine. These are all empty boxes that, if need to be filled, they can be. Pretty much everything else is coming with me. Um... We're moving out on Sunday, and I have a U-Haul rented and a storage units reserved, but this is everything. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave this stuff here for the, the teacher that's coming in. I've already asked her, she said yes, she wants it. And then all of my wallpaper, the black border, I'm gonna leave. I need to take that border, border down. Um, and then this back wood wall is staying up for the next teacher that's in here. So um, today what we're gonna do is I have a list of items that I need to get done for the school. So like regular teacher checkout stuff, things like returning standards notebooks, things like returning progress monitoring supplies, things like returning science kits, uh, library books, taking the computer cart somewhere. Um, so regular things that you would do to check out at your school. Um, so I'm gonna read that list off to you guys. Another thing is I'm leaving my library of resources here. So I actually went through each binder and anything that I wanted to keep or take with me, I did put in a binder. But everything else, guys, I'm just gonna leave here um, because most of the stuff that's in here I have digitally, so I don't need to bring it with me. And then binders, I don't need to bring those with me either because I am moving on to fourth grade science social studies. So nothing inside of these binders I'm going to need. And I thought that this would be a great resource for those student teachers who are coming in and have nothing. Um, so I'm leaving all of that here. Um, stuff like math anchor charts, ELA anchor charts, paragraph of the week, um, daily language review for third grade, things like that that I don't need. I'm going to leave it here for those student teachers so that they have something to use. So that's another thing I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, so I'm pulling up my email. Um, and I'm going to try to find this checklist. Um, okay. Bag up students' personal items. Do not send home binders, consumable workbooks, or other materials that were provided by the school. So no math books, girls. Okay, so I have a long list 
of things that I need to do here, basically like gathering items to be returned to the school. Then after that list is complete, we're going to move all of the items that are on tables as much as we possibly can over here by the door on this side of the room because the teacher who's moving in here is going to be moving in here on Thursday. So I'm gonna try to get this side of the room, like this side of the room, emptied and everything pushed this way so that she can move her stuff in and put it over there. So that's kind of what we're gonna work on once the girls are done putting all the kids' supplies in the bags. That's what they're working on while I get all of this paperwork done. Um, so I'm just gonna stop filming because we're not really gonna be doing anything worth watching. Um, and then once we start moving stuff, I will probably montage the crud out of this video. So see you in a moment. <sighs> so I officially just wasted, what, 10 minutes looking for staples? But I got them, so we're good. Hello friends, so update. It is now basically noon, and so far what we've done is we've moved a lot of things. So pretty much everything that was in the middle of the room, my stuff, we've started pushing towards that side of the room. Um, these tables are gonna be moved into that room and the desks that are in there will be moved in here. Then we have to stack them all in the middle of the room. Um, I need to return my technology to the librarian, but I will probably wait to do that tomorrow um, because I will be back tomorrow. Savannah is packing up work folders uh, that need to be returned. Um, this looks like a lot of stuff and it actually is a lot of stuff, but it is spread out. Like it's not stacked very well. I probably should get a bigger U-Haul to be honest with you because I don't think the U-Haul I got is gonna fit all of this, and I honestly don't think the storage unit that I got is gonna fit all this either. We will see. A lot of stuff is like furniture that can get stacked, but we tried to put furniture over here and boxes over here, but we have a lot of furniture that can be moved, so we will see. Um, so yeah, it's looking good. Maddie's picking up trash. The kids' stuff is almost all bagged up. We have to finish that as well. We're gonna take a lunch break here in a minute, so this is what it's looking like. Okay, so we got all the desks and tables and chairs that are staying here put in the middle. And then over here we have most of the furniture. The only thing missing is my big table. So this is here, furniture is going in the U-Haul first. Then we put all of the boxes that are closed here. And then everything else is just whatever is like open and can't really be packed away because it's too big or there's no box for it. So, and there's one more big table. <laughs> so this is as far as we're gonna get today. But I think we did pretty good. We're about halfway through my end of the year checklist. Everything is out of the cubbies. And I think we're missing like one more library book. Everything up here is gonna be left here. It's like avid stuff. So I'll probably fix the binders so they're not all yucky. And then yes, yeah, so this is all the furniture. Ugh. All right, so we are done for the day and it is 124. So we are gonna get out of here. We're gonna go to Walmart and get some envelopes and some stamps so that I can send home my flat teacher projects. Uh, flat teacher project is this really cute thing going around um, where the kids get a little flattened version of you. So mine looks like that, <laughs> but they're all printed and laminated. And basically what they do is they take you with them wherever they go and they have to take a picture of you doing whatever it is that they're doing and send it. So we will take these with us and we're going to get out of here. Hey you guys, so it is Wednesday, day two of classroom clean out and I just wanted to update you guys on the room, the progress and 
in the vlog. So I am officially done in here. Um, I've completed all of my checkout things, returned library books, taken computer carts, done pretty much all that I can do other than returning my laptop and my keys. Um, and I don't think that's going to happen until the end of May because we still have a long road ahead of us with digital learning at least three more weeks after next week. So four official weeks. Um, but this is just same as yesterday. Furniture's over here. Everything else is over there. Um, furniture for the new teacher is all here in the middle. Like I said before, today what I worked on was a small group schedule for my um, instructional assistant, Miss Jane. She's going to be starting small groups next week and she'll be calling three kids. Um, she has three groups a day, Monday through Thursday for one hour and it's three children at a time. So she'll be getting that started. I also filled my flat teacher project envelopes. If you guys don't know what the flat teacher project is, you're going to want to look that up on teachers pay teachers. It's super cute. Um, I, just used a template that I found from Teachers Pay Teachers, one of the free ones, um, and just made my little Bitmoji person. So I'm going to leave here in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna actually hand deliver one of these letters um, to a kiddo who I know has really been struggling with not being in school, and I just really want to hand deliver this to them. Um, the rest I'm going to stick in a mailbox and call it a day. Um, for now and then yeah I'm not gonna be back here until Sunday when I move out and I will potentially vlog that I don't know if it's worth I don't know if it's really worth vlogging moving out because it's really just gonna be us packing up the U-Haul so um, and I know I will probably be back here at school a few more times before I officially leave, like officially, officially leave. Because I will have to return my keys and my laptop and then do anything else that's left. But for now, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna get up on out of here and if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, of course, and I will see you guys in the next video.